Well, good morning and thank you for coming. It is uh, a feeling of coming home for me, uh, being a Hartford native and spending maybe the last 20 years of my life trying to convince people that uh, Hartford is deserving of a NFL caliber professional franchise. And I thought we would have struck gold uh, with the Foxborough scenario. And now I'm sort of glad we didn't because I'm happy to be bringing the United Football League to Hartford. And I think it's a very deserving city and certainly this venue had a lot to do with the decision. Uh, we're excited to expand our vision of professional football in the fall and at a time when everyone is struggling with the economy and losing jobs, I think it's fitting that we're bringing more jobs and businesses uh, to a city that has already been, uh, because of this governor's leadership, recovering quite nicely from the financial crisis and from lost jobs. With us today are some uh, exciting opportunities and people who have been very supportive of this effort and who took great risk from leaving very strong positions to be a part of this venture and join this journey with us and I want to give them a chance to speak today. Uh, first, I would like to tell you that uh, people have asked me why Hartford uh, many times and it wasn't just that I was born here. Uh, this has been a vibrant football city. It's been overlooked many times uh, but it has been, I know from living here, uh, a source of great pride in its sports teams. And while some leagues have come and failed, uh, they may have had not as strong financial models. Uh, we feel very good about our model. We played last year with four teams. We learned a lot about this market and other markets and what we think are the keys for our success. Uh, during that process, we were fortunate to receive the support of this governor uh, in that process. And she has been a strong governor for this market and an exceedingly positive person for this community. And I know I personally have been a fan of hers for the last nine years that she's been in office. And I've been proud to support her in some efforts that we uh, joined with her with last year with veterans uh, getting a chance to come home during the Thanksgiving holidays. Uh, the 87th governor of Connecticut, she's been a pioneer in childhood interests, education, um, $100 million initiative for stem cell research. It's unfortunate this will be her last term because it will be something that she sorely missed, will be missed in this community. Um, but I do have a season ticket available for her and Lou uh, for the next 15 years here in Hartford. So hopefully she'll be a part of this community. Uh, but with that, let me introduce, please, the governor of the great state of Connecticut, Jody Well. Thank you, Michael. Boy, you had to tell me about that ticket this morning, didn't you? Huh? I have to, uh, I'll double check with Lou and see if he's available. I know he is, but uh, it is really an honor and a pleasure to be here, and I am thrilled with this announcement. Um, Mayor Curry, thank you. I, I think I've been spending more time in East Hartford lately, but I'm glad that you're here this morning because while we talk about this in the Hartford region, uh, we are in your town, and we very much appreciate your hospitality. Uh, I am thrilled, as I said, to welcome the United Football League here to Connecticut and, of course, to Rensselaer Field. Uh, this is naturally exciting news, uh, but it's exciting news mostly for all of the football fans all over the state. And it's great news, as Michael just said, for economic development. Uh, I have to tell you from uh, the governor's point of view, and when we look out, we talk about jobs all the time, but it really is about the economy right now and the fact that we are uh, looking at more jobs, more business growth, and I have to tell you, I find that almost as exciting as a football game. Well, maybe not quite as exciting, okay. <laughs> It depends on whether the coach is uh, doing a good job or not. <laughs> but Connecticut fans of all ages have demonstrated their commitment to football. And whether it is Pop Warner or high school teams or college or the NFL, uh, I have to tell you our, our uh, residents in this state have shown a passion and an understanding for the game. Now, some fans are going to have something else to celebrate and another affordable entertainment option. Uh, and it comes at a critical time. It comes at a time when we as elected officials and business leaders and others continue to seek creative ways to stimulate our local economies. And it's a time when we're keeping and trying to create jobs is probably the single most important task facing the state or the local governments. Now the games that will be played here at Rensselaer Field mean more than just great entertainment. Though of course we're looking forward to that great entertainment as well. It means um, keeping and growing jobs, as I said earlier, and increased business activity. 
and that's a winner no matter who's on the field. But another good reason, I think, of course, is uh, welcoming the UFL to Connecticut, as Michael has already said, is because of their commitment. Uh, he's absolutely correct. This past year, we tried to uh, set out an ambitious goal of raising $200,000 to bring our Connecticut soldiers home for the holidays as they were practicing, practicing, as they were uh, participating in their uh, pre-deployment um, for their uh, assignment in Iraq and in Afghanistan. They were in places like Indiana and Wisconsin, and it's pretty tough duty when you know that they could be home for the holidays. Um, to raise $200,000 was an ambitious goal, but the UFL stepped right up to the plate, made the first very generous donation of $25,000, and that got us kicked off, and uh, the fundraising from there went really great. And so when you know that you've got that kind of a corporate neighbor already, you know that only good things can happen. I did say to Michael when he came in, don't worry, I'm not asking for any money today. <laughs> that doesn't mean that it won't be coming later. But <laughs> um, we succeeded beyond our wildest dreams in, in raising those funds. And I say once again, thank you for your very generous support. Um, a contribution of $25,000 is just absolutely amazing. And that's the kind of support, of course, that our Connecticut citizen soldiers will always remember, and we appreciate it. Thanks, everyone, for being here. This is an exciting day. And when I came in, I said, well, maybe today's snowy weather isn't exactly the best uh, for football. And of course, we've all been to those football games when it started to snow, but we didn't start out with that much on the ground. Uh, but we're looking forward to this. We're looking forward to this new venue, uh, a more activity here at, at the field. And uh, we're pretty pleased. And I have to tell you, uh, I'm pleased to have the coach back. Um, as some of you might guess, he's a friend of mine, but it's uh, important to have good coaches, good team, good corporate citizens, good corporate neighbors, and all of those things are wrapped up right here in the UFL. So thank you, and thanks very much for choosing Hartford area.